What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. We are back here in Addingham Park for our first generation Dairyman series. I appreciate you guys being on already. What is up, everybody? Got who to get in the house? Cobal. What's up, Halim? How you doing, buddy? Appreciate you guys being here already. Well, we're going to get this party started. We got a bunch of stuff we're going on. We got uh, all the bales taken back. I still have to get them kind of stored. And hey, what's up, Ninja? How you doing? And then um, I've been working on plowing the field. We got the field all plowed. I've been working on picking up all the rocks. The rocks are almost done. We got to get some rocks out of the yard or out of the field. Uh, put them in a trailer, take them back to the probably the uh, lime production. We'll go over there and take them to the lime production. Uh, we can make some lime for our field. What's up, Spartan Farmer? How you doing, buddy? What's up, Nick? How you doing? What's up? What's up? Glad you guys can all make it. Um, but yeah, we got a bunch of stuff to do, and we have to tend to our cows. We are into the next day. We'll go ahead and jump into that. <clears throat> oh yeah, first off, before we even start, I want to say, uh, I, I meant to post something in the community uh, feed there, um, but thank you everybody. We, we have reached our 1500 subscriber goal. Um, it was supposed to be by the end of the year, but we're like not even November yet. It's crazy. Um, so we're, the channel's blowing up. We're like, we're not like blowing up, blowing up, but we're growing. We're growing nice and steady. And, uh, it was like just a, a goal I made up. It didn't really mean a whole lot besides just, uh, something to shoot for, uh, by the end of the year, just kind of, that was more so based off the numbers I was seeing. And it would have been, I would have been able to hit it with the average I was getting before. And we hit it two months early. Uh, so that that's pretty crazy. So I reset our goal, uh, our new goal. I'm not sure. It's, it says to the end of the year still, but our new goal is 2,000 subscribers. But I'm gonna probably move the date out until like, you know, April or some, you know, something more realistic. Um, but our our next goal we're gonna try to shoot for is 2,000 subscribers. But we are now at uh, 1508, I believe. Oh, uh, thanks, Salim. I appreciate that. And we have like this many more hours for YouTube to calculate before we start to get monetized as well. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, but I, I wanted to wait until we were a little bit over 15 before announcing it. You know, uh, subscribership fluctuates and stuff like that. So you always want to make sure uh, you go a little bit past before you like announce it. You know, just to make sure. Uh, yeah, we're at 15.08. So we're eight subscribers past our goal already. All right. Well, we're, I just want to say that before we started really getting into here. I appreciate you guys. Um... I'll probably do a little community post, though, so if anybody misses this, they can see that later on. Just because it's all about you guys and everybody helping out and stuff. You guys are the reason why, uh, you guys are the reason why it happens, so. Alright, so yeah, we're out here in the field here, and we're trying to pick up some of this rock. And yeah, actually, I want to check on this worker. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a feeling. The workers totally bug me about how they can't just pick up the stone that's in front of them instead of just driving around the field that already got done. So I'm just going to bring this worker like down here in the middle somewhere right here and they can get going right here. That way, either way they go, they'll be hitting some kind of rock here. That's what I've had to do pretty much the whole time. I've been doing a lot of this picking myself and then trying to have a worker help, but... He doesn't even want to follow the line. I, I haven't been using this deer either. I've been using the, um, oh, what is it? The, this one here, the Massey. It's all dirty again. It says, wash me. Uh, but it's kind of slow, shifting between the gears on that, back and forth. It's a little slow, so I swapped it out for that deer. It's a little bit faster. What's up, Tim? How you doing? We got Duane, too. What's up? How you guys doing? Appreciate you guys popping through tonight. Hopefully you guys are well. All right, so, yeah, we're going to... Switch into this V. I'm gonna try to pick up the rocks with the sticks here. But yeah, I just brought this little trailer out. I figure, you know, I don't even know if we can actually pick up. This rock is gonna be heavy, I think, in this. Can we even pick that up? Oh, yeah, we can. It is pretty heavy, though. Uh, I figure we can, you know, make a couple trips if we have to. I don't think it's that much rock. It's not enough rock to be able to make lime, uh, to be able to make enough lime to lime this whole field. And really, this trailer doesn't take rock. You know, it's, I had a problem with this thing not accepting something else, too. I might just sell these trailers off. Because this also... I tried to put something else in this, too. And it didn't take it. I forgot what that was. TMR or something like that. Something pretty uh, simple. What's up, firefighter? How you doing, buddy? 
Oh, I'm doing well. Thank you, Julian. Appreciate that. Glad to hear you're doing good. Um, so I'm just going to leave that, I guess, real quick. And I guess we'll go not into that menu. Go in here. I'm going to sell these trailers off real quick. Which is the Oracles, which I usually like. They're uh, usually really good. And I guess we'll just grab the Marshall there. And well, we'll jump in the favorite here. The favorite will get the job done. I guess we do have the voucher there, but we'll jump in this. One of our favorites. What's up, Gavin? How you doing? Hey, Ray, too. What's up, Ray? We got a good little turnout so far. Appreciate you guys being here. <clears throat> yeah, we'll jump in here. We'll grab. We'll grab this trailer. It's been doing pretty good so far. Off we go. Let's go get some rock. How's your night, buddy? Oh, it's going great, man. Just getting started. Just getting started. Baby was a little cranky. She was a little cranky tonight. Uh, but she fell asleep. <laughs> she fell asleep at a good time. You know, now that I think about it, I was towing that little Oracle trailer over um, just with that telehandler there. And it didn't want to make the turn. It was like binding up between like the hitch. And yeah, maybe that whole mod was kind of funky because it didn't show the back implement when I was towing the trailer. Oh, we do have some rock just right over there too. I have to pick up. Um, but we were. It didn't show the back implement there on our little little thing up at the top of the, the screen there. Oh dang it, we're on the on the hedge. So it didn't show it up there. Like it almost like it wasn't even there. And I, it, I couldn't unhook to it, or unhook it very easy. It kind of gave me trouble to unhook. And then, yeah, it wouldn't let me put rock in it, which is super weird. But this thing will hold all the rock for us, no problem. This is one of my favorite tractors of the entire game right here, by the way. If anybody wants to know, this is by far one of my favorite tractors. I probably spent the most hours in this tractor than any other tractor. Hey, Felden, how you doing, buddy? Glad, glad you're here. Glad you're here. What's up? What's up? You said hello, Brian. I thought you were going to bed after you got off the server. <laughs> oh, you had to stop by and say what's up for a bit. <laughs> you say, yes, I am. I have crybaby dog. Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> I got one of those, too. Ninja. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate you guys all being on. It's awesome. Yeah, we're just back here on the old dairy farm. And this time we're getting some rock out of the field here. I did most of the work on the the rock picking and everything already. All the plowing. Did all that already. Um, that was quite a bit as well. I had a worker doing some of it, but I came and did a lot of it. A bunch of it myself. And it was slow going with that... Uh, that was also with that, um, that Massey. So it was, it took some time. With that same little plow. But the field's all done now, which is nice. So I think that was it with that little, little bit. Let's see, I had some, I had some just down the way here. You said no, Jack's my patrol dog, buddy. Uh, well, my my dog, my whiny dog is also named Jax. <laughs> Spelled the same way. <laughs> He's also whiny. You can have him if you want. <laughs> I've had him since he was a baby, but he's so annoying sometimes. Usually right during the stream. <laughs> oh, sorry, I missed that there, Gavin. You said you're finally 15 years old. Is it your birthday today? fifteen years old. Is it your birthday today? Well, happy birthday if it is. Alright, we're gonna jump out here. We're gonna run back and grab this truck. Oh boy, I wish I had you followed me around with the truck. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a year and a half to load those bales. <laughs> that was fun. I really had a good time uh, streaming with you guys um, two nights ago, you know, on the FS crew night. 
That was a lot of fun. All of us working together as a team, you know. I really just want us to have on that server, I just want us to have one farm that we all take care of, you know. It'd be super fun. If that was the case, I'd totally get on there all the time and stream it and stuff. It's just kind of boring if I'm, we're all doing our own thing, you know. It's all separate. What's up, Corna? How you doing? You said as long as he's a Belgian Malinois, is that how you say that? Then he'll take them. <laughs> uh, he's like an Aussie Shepherd Rat Terrier, but you can still take him. <laughs> he's a whiner, and he's uh, his name is Jax. <laughs> so it's perfect. I parked that too close to us, I did. That rock is heavy in that bucket. But still, this won't be enough to be able to make us enough lime to be able to lime this whole field. And I scooped up that. That was exactly... That was exactly... Two, oh, I guess that makes sense. It was exactly 2,000 there because that's how much the capacity of the pickers. <laughs> um, I had another pile up here somewhere. Maybe it was just over here a little ways. I think it's right, it's right where he is right now, I think. Maybe not. Jump in this deer real quick and see what he's doing. Yeah, he's going over stuff he's already done. Um, I guess there's no other piles down here. I guess there's one out in the main road we have to get. I guess we'll do some of this rock picking here for just a little bit. Get around some of these edges. It was some pretty heavy rock throughout here too, but still not enough to be able to uh, won't, won't, we won't have enough to be able to uh, provide for our field there. Yeah, it was fun for sure, heck yeah. Oh, 8th of October, Gavin, I got you. Well, happy early. Oh, no, happy late, right? Happy late. <laughs> I'm behind, man. Time is flying by. I wish it was still October 8th. Yeah, don't forget about this Friday, too. This Friday is uh, Nick Stegman's uh, Cancer Research Charity Stream. Make sure you guys all check that out. We're all streaming from different sides of the map, the world, you know? And that's going on from 8 o'clock central till in 8, 8 o'clock a.m. central till late into the evening. So definitely check us all out. Go faster when you crash, you also find the rock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. I can always dig some rock out of the ground, too, if I have to. But we can just buy a lime. That's one of the things that we have to buy, you know. We'll make milk and do all the dairy products, sell that, and then in return we'll use the money that we're making from all that to be able to um, to be able to buy stuff for the dairy. And we do have two million, like two point two million, but we're gonna. I, I did download a few different mods for like different uh, options for a, a dairy uh, enclosure, cow enclosure. I, I wanted one that matched the the farm more and the options that we had. Uh, weren't quite there, but I think I found some that might work depending on the size. It all depends on if they fit in that little field that we've chosen next to our farm for our dairy extension. And we'll work on building that and add some more cows to it and get them all set up. But this field's so close to being done that we have to... I'll probably just plant some corn right here again, too. We'll go ahead and get corn in the ground. To bust out the old uh, Valtra Kubota setup there. <laughs> I just want to dig in the dirt. You know it. <laughs> yeah, you know I do. But I could do it with a telehandler or um, a wheel loader or whatever other kind of device that has a bucket could dig. So we already have quite a few little tools that can do that. 
So yeah, we're almost done picking this rock. I was trying to get it done earlier. We thought we wouldn't even have to do it tonight, but it's just one of those things. One of those things that you gotta do. Yeah, uh, Colbo, what do you think? Should we have, like, a little community farm on that server? I, I think Bumpkin was talking about he was doing some updates to it, but I'm not sure what he actually, uh, what he actually did. I don't even know what the password to that, uh, the other server is. Or is it the same as our other one? I don't even care what, what map it is as long as we have, like, a main farm that we all work together. I'll do all the different shores. You know, if something has to get done, like the animals or whatever. Um, you know, or, or, or whatever, whatever the next step will be, you can jump in right there and help do that. You know, time wouldn't pass on the farm because you're working it. Versus, like, somebody else. Like, say, say you work on the farm and on your farm and I haven't been on mine in a month, you know? then all, all of my stuff is not doing good. It's all, uh, you know, the animals need to get tended to and all that. Why aren't we picking up? Come on. Got to get it into gear. You gave him a little chewable of uh, melatonin and he's out. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good idea. Oh, Gavin, you're out of here? All right, man. You have a good night. Hey, Oregon Trees, you don't mind if I join you one of these days, do you? Uh, no, I'm sure we could, uh, we could work that out. I've been wanting to set up the multiplayer server I had going on, or the multiplayer save game I had going on. Um, I gotta work on getting that all set up, but yeah, you can definitely join us. Are you on, are you on PC, though? Because my, oh, we're full. Um, my server will be set up for, uh, for probably PC only. That's gonna be on the Coronea map. Yeah, I would like, I would like it if you join us. Are you gonna come hang out on, uh, on Friday, Ray? With everybody? Streaming, doing all that. Yeah, you're on PC, perfect. But yeah, as soon as I get it all figured out, it'll be on. It's always gonna be like a Friday when we do that. So if that works for you, and around the same time, exactly the same time right now. You'll double check the password. But yeah, single farm will be fun. Yeah, man, we gotta set that up. I, I would totally get on there and work it all the time, you know. Like you and I, whoever, like, you know, I, I want all of us to chip in, but, um, you know, we could communicate and talk about who's doing what, or, you know, oh, I did this and this on field, whatever, whatever, and, you know, or you can just jump on whatever and just kind of look around, like, all right, what's next? This needs to be harvested, this needs to be planted. But I think if we communicate and talk about it, you know, like, treat it like a real farm, I think it'd be awesome. If you want, I gone join also. You're on PC. Oh heck yeah! Once we get the uh, once we get all the multiplayer stuff set back up, we can make something happen, guys. Probably not this Friday. I'm going to Deer Camp this weekend. Oh yeah, no worries. Uh, it might. It probably won't be this Friday, anyways. I'll be. We'll be doing something. I might get a setup. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we'll get something set up. Oh, actually, no. Oh, this this Friday will be. Uh, it's Nick Stigman's thing. Or we're all going to be streaming together. I think a bunch of us are doing the charity stream. He has, Nick has a server set up for PC only, and then he has one set up for cross-platform.
which if if everything goes according to plan, he'll be sending out more information about that uh, tomorrow and Tuesday. There's also a link for that charity, that GoFundMe for the cancer research. Uh, there's a link for it in the description of the stream also. You're listening over here, talking with uh, Keith about Friday? Oh, awesome. Well, I appreciate you being here, Nick. It means a lot, buddy. Where's Keith at? I haven't seen him pop in here yet. <laughs> He's like, oh man, I didn't get the, the notification. Oh yeah, tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, no worries, man. Take your time. I know it's a lot. You guys are prepping and doing all of that, you know, so. Doesn't take the rest of us very long. Uh, what map is it? What map are we playing? I was wondering that. I'm sure you I'm sure you at least picked that one out. <laughs> I just want to make sure I at least have the map and stuff. Yeah, I think there's one more little area up front, up top, over there, uh, that I still have to pick. But we're almost all done down here. Oh, the multi-map? Yeah, I gotta download that one. says I'm late and proud of it <laughs> you're right on time buddy I figured you were lurk lurking around somewhere <laughs> All right, so that's a little pile there we could pick up oh there is a pile he's just over here I thought there was a little pile that was down here it's probably uh Maybe that's 4,000 liters right there. We'll go run this up. I'm just checking around the corner here. Uh, we'll run this up top. I believe there's one more little section. Oh, there is a strip here, too. Look. That's why I wanted to check. Before running this all the way back up to the, the farm. But yeah, we're going to be planting corn right here again. We got our other field of corn that we already planted. I'm actually in the middle of rolling that field as well. Uh, once we get our other setup over here, I'll set a worker to planting. Probably do a headlands around. What do you think, chat? Do a headlands around and then set a worker to it. Died on my G OMG. This phone sucks. Only well, time to get a new phone, huh? Busy with mods. Oh no, you're all good, Keith. You're all good, buddy. I'm surprised you didn't go with a uh, long arm rock picker. Oh, no, that's all. Uh, pretty much everything on this map is pretty small equipment. And that would be that would be overkill, right? Got all small tractors. This thing's wider, wider than the tractor. It's wider than my uh, plow. <laughs> Yeah, you guys both posted. You guys both posted links. I want to pin to the top at the same time. Bubble just posted the FS Crew Discord link, which is in the description as well, and the October 28th thing there that uh, Keith just posted, which I will pin in the top top of the chat, is that this Nick Stigman's charity thing. There's the the link to the GoFundMe and all that. I'm sure, which is also down in the description. Thank you guys for posting both of those things. I wish I could pin more than one thing. Yeah, this this rock picker is plenty, plenty big enough for what we got going on down here. Everything takes a long time when you start dealing with smaller equipment. Oh, we got a little bit more to go here. But yeah, the plow is smaller than this.
Yeah. Oh, yeah. For all forms of cancer, your cousin, cousin died from breast cancer last November. Yeah, right before Thanksgiving. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, I'm sorry for your loss, too, buddy. But yeah, hopefully it's a good turnout, and, you know, hopefully uh, we could get a little bit to uh, help uh, cancer research out. You know, it's a big, a big deal. It's a real thing. This little area here, right on the side. Still gotta get. That's the last of the rocks. This last little chunk here. Yeah, it's a new little uh, Stream Beats album. I haven't tried this album. It's a little more mellow. Um, it's not too bad so far, though. I would like to figure out some like different type of music, or maybe maybe eventually, if we ever start generating any revenue off of this channel, I would like to work on like um, like paying for some better music. You know, it's not. I don't think it's that expensive. I gotta have the song that Feldman put on his video. Uh, which which video are you talking about? Sometimes Feldman has some pretty uh, some pretty epic music. Some of his cinematics has some pretty <laughs> some pretty awesome stuff. to be in this will be more too what's up why how you doing buddy So the link should be in the description on the band camp for it, Keith. Or I could DM it. I'll have to check out what you guys are talking about. Oh, I'm doing good, Wyatt. Thank you. Glad to hear you're doing well. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, what song you're talking about. You should DM that one to me, too, so I can hear what you're talking about. All right, let's start our last little strip of rocks here, chat. And then we are all done with the rocks. And, yep, I think I think that's it, right? We did get that side. I just hate to get this thing all the way back to the farm, which is just around the corner, but still... Um, and not have all of it done. So I'll check this little, this little edge over here. Uh, 
I, I think we're all good. I think I got all the rock. That took a long time. Oh, look at this. Nope, nope. Still didn't. That's why I wanted to check. I suppose I could probably look at the map. The map will tell us. It's probably what I should have done the first time. It's good just to use your eyes and look, though, too. We'll go like that. Yes. Just that one little strip I'm looking at now. So that's good. Nope, nope, nope. Don't do a worker. Gotta get this one little strip here and we're done. Yeah, I will watch the video. Yeah, your friend Dan does some banging tunes for sure. It's all royalty copyright free and safe for the video. That's why I use it and listen to it at work sometimes too. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's the same person you were talking about. Is that the same person you usually get your uh, your music from? All right, see, I'm going to dump this rock on the way out in this little pile that we already have sitting over on the road here. Yeah. Silly. Yeah, I got a little pile here. I think I've dumped twice right here so far. This will be the third time, I believe. I think it. I think it is. This wasn't a lot of rock, though. All right, so we'll take this back. We'll get this cleaned up real quick. And then we'll jump out there. We'll finish getting that rock out of there. And we'll get that stuff out of there. And then we're going to get that Kubota with the Valtra set up for corn. I just think it's already actually ready to go. We just got to get it filled up. And then go out there and get some planting going. Yeah, that way we can chop that as well. And our pat, our area right here to the right, so got all the bales all out of there. Um, we're gonna work on making that into our dairy farm, a dairy farm extension. That is some few decorative things. I hope we get to that tonight. If not, I'll start it off stream and then we'll jump into uh, working on that. Let's see, get some fuel on that, and then we'll get this thing washed real quick. Since I'm washing my equipment now, I haven't, like I said before, this pressure washer, I don't remember, remember the last uh, pressure washer I bought. Uh, it was a long time ago, guys, a long time ago. Hey, what's up, Eric? How you doing, my friend? How you doing? Oh, you have a good night, Oregon Trees? You're off to bed? All right, Ray, you have a good night, my friend. I appreciate you being here. I'll chat with you later on. So yeah, you have a few other packs of copyright safe music too, but honestly, I use his Can't Go Wrong boosting friends uh, content. Oh, no, no, not even. Not even. That's a good thing. Like, if you enjoy it and it helps a friend out, it's way better, you know? Thing's pretty dirty. Getting pretty beat up. So I was just storing this over here. Now, everything looks weird when it's clean. <laughs> I guess I'll just store it right here on this side. I saw some bales to put away. I think it's exactly where this was last time. I almost bought another one, but we already had one. And that's the plow I used for the whole thing. I just parked it right there. There's a good little spot in the grass for it. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of manure to get out of the cows again, because the next day has passed. Maybe we started working at 7 o'clock this morning. 
Actually, it's like 6.45. The sun is coming up all bright. Um, I don't know why I'm taking this. Don't actually need this. Let's go ahead and park this one here. I'll do the repairs and stuff on it later. We do need to bring this out, though. Let's drive this back out now. thing up to you while we're here. Oops. I downloaded this mod that's like some cool old uh, seed tanks and fertilizer tanks and different stuff like that. It's kind of a good look. I like it. How do we open up the other side? Oops. How do we open that there, chat? It's weird. Shouldn't that have been on the same thing? Open cover, close cover. I always thought that just did both things. That's weird. Well, I guess I can get some big bags, right? Not huh, cobble and load them up right here. Yeah, I think we'll just do that. I'll just go ahead and have them placed there. That's weird that wouldn't fill up. I always use a big bag handler for the big bags and watch a cobble stream. I'd I didn't. I never noticed you could use like the spikes to be able to pick the bags up. Over, we're trying to get. We're trying to get a seed, right? Seeds are there. I went right by it. And we'll just do a bunch like that. I'm not sure how much that field's gonna take. It's gonna take quite a few. Might have to drive out of the trigger and back in. I could try that still. I'm, I'm back out all the way right now, right? And we have the big bags there now, but I just want to try it because Felton might be right. Oh, like that? <laughs> just, just to prove Felton's point and him being right, like always. <laughs> Thank you, sir. But we, we'll use the big bags when we have to fill up again. Because I got them right there. Maybe we'll... Uh, We'll haul them out to the field or something. We'll need more seed out there so that they'll be there for the, the transportation. I should I should have tried that. Usually that is the case to drive all the way out of the trigger and drive back in. That way it kind of re-registers. Try with the keyboard. Oh, it would have been the same. That would have been the same move. I guess while we can just get this going right now, right? Because all right, I gotta unfold this first, though. Um, because once we're going with this, I could do the ridge markers, but I'll, I'll leave them up. Um, once this is going, and we set the worker to it, the rock won't be in the way. I don't think. I guess we'll find out, right? All right, so that's down, that's on. We're getting corn in the ground again, chat. This is our second corn field. Now we have two, I believe, two grass fields or three grass fields. I guess counting the, the dairy, uh, the cow pasture. Like three grass fields. This will be our second corn field. So once our other corn field's kind of growing and whatnot, this will be uh, well on its way. Oh, you know what we didn't put down? I better stop now. Don't question the Felden, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I didn't question him. I I wanted to test it. As soon as he said something, I wanted to make sure. Because he was right. 
All right, so we, we can't run that yet. I'm glad I caught it right there. I don't, you guys didn't say nothing. You guys were just going to let me go ahead and plant. We didn't put lime down yet, chat. We got to put lime down. And that's why we're out here getting the rock. I guess we are over here rolling. Look at him over here rolling this field. Got her to get this cornfield rolled. Um, yeah, we have to get this rock picked up still. Where's our trailer? There's that. And we don't have to wait for the lime. Wait, what spreader was I using? Oh, I think it might be in the shed. We don't have to wait for lime to get made. We'll buy some. Because this won't be enough to supply this field anyway. So we'll start by bringing some down. And then I'll probably end up just doing like a dump in a pile in the field and doing like that. I think that's how they do it a lot of times. A lot of places. This one might just be one scoop right here. We'll just go ahead and grab this. Lime? <laughs> yeah, lime. Lime. Don't forget the lime. We're trying to do everything 100% on these fields. We can't forget the lime. We got our, have our fields looking beautiful. Now let's try to use the telehandler with the controller again. It feels so weird. <laughs> that was rough with the controller, I tell you. That is such a better... It's way nicer, more... It's a way better experience with the joysticks. Way better. Never going back. Oh, I totally just missed the trailer, didn't I? Did I miss the whole thing? Oh, well, maybe not. It looks like I, I, looks like I missed... I'll go around and check after I grab this pile. Oh, I just dumped rock right over the top. Whoa. See, if we grab a full bucket, like 3,000 right there, that's, it is definitely heavy. I was only getting like 2,000 because that's uh, how much some of those piles were. I probably can't even grab a whole scoop, huh? I'll dump some of this out, then I'll... Uh... Come on, lower the boom. I'm just going to dump part of it out right here on the ground, and then if it'll let me. That's <laughs> so funny. Need to wait on this thing now, huh? Dang, even that. I can't, uh, can't telescope out that far either. The rock is heavy. Come on, put me back down. <laughs> That'd be such a weird feeling, like if you're actually in the cab, like for real. <laughs> I've, I've had some pretty tippy loads on a forklift before and got swung around pretty hard in a boom lift before, but not like in a telehandler with a full bucket like that all boomed out. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. <laughs> Nick has a lot of good production for you to test. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'll, I'll put it to the test. I'm down for whatever, you know. Pitter patter, who again? What's up, buddy? I hope I didn't even empty it all the way out. I thought I was empty. I think empty's slow. Maybe I should just tip it over a bit more, a little faster. shape of the bucket too will let me know kind of where it's uh, flat to the ground probably like that right but I don't want to get a full bucket either because it's throwing me around even that it feels so heavy in there I guess the rock is denser right denser than like say like uh 
obviously like straw or something. I do like the new physics of the game. Came a long way since uh, FS15 when I started. Dump that faster. Alright, did I get some on this other side? I totally thought I spilled out. Well, I guess I didn't. I thought it, I felt like I spilled. Alright, we just gotta make our way back up the hill. I think that was all of it down here, right, chat? Get a hold of him. Are you talking about Nick? What are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about getting a hold of him when I'm about to fall out. That's probably what you're talking about, right? Somebody grab him. That's probably what you're talking about. <laughs> I was going to go flying. I watched a bunch of those, like, forklift, uh, like, fails, you know? Stuff like that. Guys knocking down whole warehouses and stuff. <laughs> Half a half a bucket for now. Uh, we'll jump back in this one and we'll haul this up the hill. Am I a multiplayer now? No, this is a uh, single player. Single player. Set cruise control to that real quick, and I'm gonna have a drink of my cherry soda, my cherry coke. I didn't notice this fan has so much wear on it. Let's see, what did we use this one for? We used it for. Uh... I know I can't remember. Every like tractor at first had its own purpose, and that we were using this for something. What's up, Ninja? You still there, buddy? What is up? I appreciate you guys. <clears throat> Yeah, for anybody that didn't catch that too, we, we passed our goal of 1,500. Our next goal, it's not uh, for 67 days to go to that one. I forgot to change the actual date. I just typed in the same date that we always used, uh, which that's not accurate. We're going to change the date. We're moving that date out a bit. But the next goal is 2,000 subscribers, guys. Guys and gals. 2,000 subs will be our next goal. Which that's pretty awesome. No rush, you know, I'm not in a hurry to get to there, but uh, the numbers aren't lying, you know, it's moving up, so might as well uh, enjoy it and embrace it, you know. I don't want us moving up too quick, I, you know, I'm not sure how much I can handle, I want to be able to grow it nice and organically, I don't want it moving up, like, really fast, if it, like, jumped up, like, really crazy overnight, I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure what I would do. Ooh, that's pretty heavy. I'm gonna dump just a little bit back out. I, you know what I would do if that happened? I would do my best. <laughs> I would do my best. But if, like, say, for example, like, 400 people jumped on the stream all of a sudden, I would do my best. I would I would look to all you guys to help me. <laughs> you know, that does happen. Not saying it's ever going to happen, you know, but it, it could happen. And if it ever did happen, I would do my best, so... And for me, it'd be better if it just organically happened over time and not, like, overnight, you know? But we are moving up every day, so. All right, I think that was it. Man, doing all this is so much easier with the joysticks. I don't know what I ever did before this. It just feels way more natural. I, I really enjoy being in cab a lot more with the telehandler and stuff. Because before I, was, I wasn't in cab as much. It wasn't as natural on the movements. It was a lot more natural uh, with the joystick being, or the controller being out of cab. 
getting used to the steering. Now here I'm gonna switch to uh let's see what is it? All wheel control Y. Uh, we just want front steering. Makes it a little bit smoother in the steering instead of doing all of it. With the other one, I was getting pretty good, but I feel like this telehandler is a little bit touchier. It also has 124.9 hours on it, so. <laughs> one of the ones that GB had already sitting here for me. Talk about 2000, I barely have four subscribers. And all that four is you guys. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's all right. Got to start somewhere, buddy. You know, try and have 400 videos or whatever, and you'll probably get a few more subscribers. Takes a long time. Some channels move faster than others. You know, it all depends on the reach you're getting and stuff like that. All right, so we'll go ahead and leave this guy here. And we'll come back in just a bit. And It's not too dirty either. I just cleaned that. Sure is a nice telehandler. I really like that one a lot. Good old JCB. And then, um, I guess, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, we have to jump in here. We'll take this over to our lime production, which is just over there by our uh, biogas plant, which also I want to go and check that out too, because I want to see how long, far along the fermentation on our uh, silage is going. I want to see how that's going. That's our other grass field there. It still has a little bit to grow. I forgot, uh, forgot how far along this is. It says ready to harvest, but I don't think it's all the way grown. It should look like that grass, right? That's how the grass should look. It's like that. So it has another stage. So yeah, it should look like this grass. So that one's almost there. And then our other field that we've done. But you can see the pH value, nitrogen value is perfect on our grass field here. It does need plowing, so once this other field, once we get another round of grass off of that, we'll probably plow it up and redo it and then plant new grass on it, I'd say. Uh, real quick, I'm going to jump over and see our percentage here really quick on this silage. Fifty-nine percent. We got a bunch here. It's, uh, how much does it say? Oh, it doesn't say. But it was like 950-something thousand. Almost a million liters right there, guys. Oh, dang it. So I do need to bring that telehandler back over here. I guess, actually, we should have, like, a wheel loader down here. Something that could pick that up a little bit better. See what kind of wheel loaders we have down here. But that'd be a good thing. I, I did want to get one. Oh, there's our lime spreaders back over there as well. We'll just dump this here. And... Probably get like a smaller wheel loader maybe. Let's see what we got here. That one's kind of cute. Yeah, that one might do it there. This one's probably a little small for what we're looking for. Got a few options. This one doesn't have a high enough reach, I don't think, for what I want. And the view is terrible out of it, too. So if I was in cab, that'd be awful for me. The, the like You should be looking at it like this one up here, almost because your eye level. Unless you're like really short or hunched down. It's just such a weird, uh, a weird setup on that. This little guy is not bad, though. So the one might get her done. 
see that's for 114 at uh, 106 horsepower this one's 180 at 167 horsepower and then this one is uh 224 horsepower for 248 this 114 seems pretty good <clears throat> Maybe the tracked one. I do like that one a lot. You're talking about uh, this one here. This is that one I use like on my Forestry Empire. I do like that one. Uh, it's also not... Um, that one has a pretty good reach on it too. It's not um, articulating as well, which is pretty nice. So maybe maybe we will go with that one, huh? You like that one, Cobble? You know, with like gray or something or black. Oh, it's too dark, too dark. Let's we'll see, maybe that color. It's not too bad there. Like that. It's not terrible. Warning triangles, probably, because that's what they do it over in the UK, right? You guys like the triangles? But not forestry. No forestry. That wouldn't look too bad here on Addingham. I like that one. And it's only a 58 grand. We're going to go ahead and buy that. Good call, Cobble. Maybe it's going to go down in here into our wheel loader tools. <clears throat> and it's, uh, where's the buckets for that? This is the bucket for that right here. 3,500. This one will be really good for the uh, rocks as well. Do we want that color? That might be too much of that color. So we'll do that. What's that? With teeth. Oh, I kind of like that. It's nice looking. Yeah, we'll do the teeth on that one. And we'll go ahead and buy that for $34.50. But it's up at the farm. I should have moved that. I meant to move that over here. Where's our new toy? There it is. Look at that. Oh, she's a beaut. She's a beaut. I like it. Fire that up. We'll switch. Oh, no, no, no. Switch our view. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that all day. Well, as long as I'm facing the right way to grab the bucket, we can do that all day. The view out of this is nice, too. This is really a sturdy one for picking up rock and doing all that as well. Trying to remember what button I had set up for that. Man, my elbow, I've like my elbows are pretty sore sometimes from all the work I do and stuff, my the type of work I do. Um, so like man, every once in a while you see me stretching my elbows out. This one's been trying to pop all day, and I just got it to pop pretty good right there. It felt amazing. Just wanted to share that with you. I've been waiting all day for that thing to pop. Yeah, this thing's so stable to drive too, it's so smooth. Oh yeah, good choice, good choice. Not the fastest, you know, but hey, it's all right. It's all right. This thing has a pretty good reach on. I just hope it can reach up to that. Um... Can we look out the top? Oh, and I wish, yeah, that that kind of sucks. I didn't think about that. Being able to look out of the top of it, we'll give it a shot, though, huh? So I guess I can switch views. I need to set up a different uh, button. Maybe I'll do that really fast. I mean, I want to do that. So, Let's see, you go into my key bindings real quick. I want to set up a button for my view change camera what would that button be called not enter switch this is it camera zoom in and out oh, I guess we should go to gamepad though huh um
So there's that. I'm not even sure what that one would be called. You guys know what that... I'm trying to just change it so I can, I can change my view in and out of... Uh, just to change my views. What's that one called? Talk <clears throat> not the map view. I would be able to change it, but I can't think about what it'd be called. Change direction now. Probably already went by it too. There's so many different uh, different options. I think it's like right there, change driver direction. All right, well, I'll go back and mess with that later. I'm not sure what what view button that is. So I just use my controller. I could just also, um, hope not that one. C, select camera, yeah. I guess what I could do is what, what button to see? What does see? C. C. Alright, where is C? Select camera right here. So, C. Gamepad. That's the C if I should have done that. But select camera, I wasn't looking for that name. Select camera. Boom, right here. So, that I'll do this button. Save controls. I'm glad I found that there. And there's that. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. So yeah, I guess like I should have just looked in the menu of what the option was up there in the help menu. And then just trace it down that way. So that was a good way to do that. So sorry about that. It was kind of boring. I always hate doing stuff like that in the middle of the stream. I can't wait to get a steering wheel and pedals. This could be a big game changer. Also, just a heads up to you for everybody. There's not that many of you guys watching right now, but for everybody also, um, in the next, like, week or two, we're also going to be moving. We're moving again. I hate moving. Uh, but we're going to be moving again, and we're moving into a house. It's uh, about 15 miles further from work, but into a house that's a nicer area, and it'll be better for the kids and all that, and better for mama better for new baby and we won't have neighbors jumping over our heads or underneath us you know we live in an apartment right now so there will be that you know it's not going to be for a little bit but it's gonna be coming up pretty quick um so i'll be uh there might be a couple days where i'm not streaming as much maybe i might miss one or so and then when it comes time to actually make the transition over to the new place um, well, we will be down on internet servers probably for a little while. Hopefully, we get that sorted out pretty quick. I would try. I would like to try to make some content before all that, so I could put a couple like videos out in between, give you guys something. Um, but I'll keep you guys posted of when all that's gonna happen. So 
dropped off. Like, you know, eventually I'll work on getting my whole uh, stream set up. But then I'll have to go and spend more money, right? Because I need to get. Um, I want to get, like, my monitor situation all figured out. I'd like to have. Because right now I use, we use our TV and I have my monitor here and laptop here and stuff. Um, but I would like to have another TV screen for my main monitor and probably one that's like this one here so I can have two matching in my main screen, but that means I need to get a new TV, which we can find out for pretty cheap these days, and uh, another monitor, which I think this one was like 150 bucks. Let's get curved uh, Samsung. It's not, it's nothing too special. Um, it's on the lower end of stuff, but I wouldn't mind having one match it. Do you get your own office? Sort of. We'll have to still see how the, the layout of the place is once you get all of our crap in there, but um, it has a two-car garage, and you know, maybe I'll get a corner of that for something, or uh, a corner of the living room area. It's a pretty big space, so I wouldn't mind having a little corner office set up, or all the bedrooms are taken up by all the kids, but I'm sure I'll have some, some kind of spot. A lot more space than this right here, and we can kind of work on setting it all up and getting it more, uh, more official. Something I don't have to set up and break down every time, you know, would be uh, <laughs> be pretty sweet. But it doesn't take me that long. I got it dialed in pretty good. Like for the setup and breakdown of my gear here. Probably once all the kids are out of the house, I'll have my own office. That's, that's a lot of years from now. <laughs> it's a perfect little rock uh, rock machine here, Cobalt, by the way. Good choice, good choice. I think you just know I like this one. That's why you're like, oh yeah, I get that one. That's my log mover on a whole marker, you know? And it's not articulating. It does reach up to this one really good. Um, but, like, it's hard to see. I guess you can kind of see. That Lieber uh, graphic on the front windshield doesn't give us any help. <laughs> Let you remember what brand it is, I guess. We'll just go ahead and park this uh, right over here along the hedge. So it's not in the way. Actually, you know what? We're going to go ahead and park this. Just so it's in a shed, put it put away where it should be. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep this over here. Disconnecting and connecting all is a bad for all your connections and ports. Oh, well, I don't have to disconnect or connect anything. Yeah, I, my camera goes away on the tripod, stays hooked up. Uh, my mic stays on the boom, plugged in, just uh, back in the corner. Uh, my joysticks stay plugged in. They sit right behind my monitor, slides back, and kind of covers everything up. Uh, my lap, my keyboard is wireless. My my mouse, I do unplug my mouse out of my my uh, microphone stand here. It's plugged into that, so I run it out of that. That's like a razor. It's a pretty nice little razor uh, headset stand. But I, I do disconnect my mouse port. That is like the only... That and like the... I do have like a, a pad here for my... Um, it's like a rollout mouse, mouse pad. It's like, you know, it's pretty good size. But I, I do unplug that. It's like a $15 pad. I do unplug that and roll that up and put that back in the box when I'm not using it. But almost everything else that's here, I do not unplug. It's all It all stays plugged in. It's all tucks away, and it goes in its little home, and the kids don't touch any of it, and it works out pretty good. But yeah, definitely disconnecting and reconnecting would definitely wear stuff out. Um, I only, the stuff that that does, I do that too. It doesn't, uh, it's not of value. I guess I do like the, my, my mouse. My mouse came with my, uh, my microphone, actually. It was a package deal that Mrs. Trigg has got me with my Blue Yeti and came with this uh, Logitech uh, Hero G502. It's a nice little nice little mouse but um, 
if if that does get damaged, it's not the end of the world. Pretty strong, uh, strong built though, so. But eventually I won't have to do any of that either. I'll just, all my stuff will be set up. I can just jump in the cockpit and go, you know what I mean? Well, let's go ahead and turn that off though. Now we do want to come back here in a bit for our, our lime spreader. I forgot that thing does burn through some lime pretty quick. Alright, so we'll jump in here. I don't think this is going though. We didn't do any water. I think we need water in that thing, don't we? We do need some water, dang it. Alright, we'll come back around to that. I was gonna just buy lime for now anyways. Let's just gotta get the stones out of there. Yeah, it works out pretty good, Eric. Not too bad. It would just be better to not have to do any of that. <laughs> I just want to sit down, turn my computer on, and everything just fires up, and off we go. Well, it's that, it's that much more time I could be doing something else. You know, working on content or, you know, any anything else to speed up the process of everything uh, is always a good thing. Like, for example, like on my thumbnails, I used to spend a lot of time on my thumbnails. Now I barely spend any time on my thumbnails. I just, I start, I, when I first make the first thumbnail of a series, I spend a little bit more time trying to think of how I should have it. But after that, I just like delete the image behind it, add the new image in, boom, go. You know, it's like super, super easy. So I'm going to buy a load of lime here and we're just going to take it out into the field and dump it right in the field. Or maybe we'll not dump the whole entire thing, but we'll dump out a pretty good amount. We'll need quite a bit of lime over there, I imagine. It probably takes a lot. So we'll do that. 18,400 and three grand. But you know, if we have a load of silage on this, we do have a nice, um, oh, wait, do we have a harvester? Oh, we do have a harvester. I don't think we have a corn header for that one yet. Maybe we do. I forget. I forget what kind of header we have for that one. Uh, but I wouldn't mind doing like a, a harvest of corn and make some money off of it as well. As long as our bunker for our silage is full, you know, I just want to make sure we've got plenty of that going. I can't believe we almost planted it without lime. Almost, chat. Almost. So I do want to dump some here. And we'll dump some more down the way a little bit. I guess for now we'll just we'll drive us down here. And we'll leave it here. If we need more, we'll dump out over here. Oh, uh, you don't you don't like my trailer dumping method <laughs> instead of an auger wagon? <laughs> This works out fine. I could use the, the telehandler to load the the tool. <laughs> uh, you don't like me dumping it all over the ground? Oh, come on. You know you love it. <laughs> so yeah, we'll jump into this telehandler here. We'll drive it back out. And then we gotta, we'll probably use the deer, I guess, for the lime, right? Since it's not being used. I like my different method. Dump it all on the ground. Call it good. That's how we used to do potato storage on 19 before we had any potato storage. <laughs> I remember that. There was like no root crop storage. Like, what the heck's going on? <laughs> oh, wait, no, that was on. That was on 17, right? Maybe that was on 19 for a little bit, but on, uh,. On 17, uh, there's so many mods we didn't have until... I was on console, too, so there's so many mods we didn't have until later on. Yeah, at first there was no mods for console. That sucked, too. We had to work. We had to work hard to cheat our money in the game. 
<laughs> he said, I mean, you do you, boo. What you do with your load is your business. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> well, I know you guys care about OT's load. You guys put a lot of thought into OT's load. So you can let's pick up this, okay? Yeah, not not as heavy as the rock. <laughs> yeah, that rock was heavy. So we'll leave that there. We'll just let it run. And we'll jump in the deer since we're not using that right now. I think it has a little bit of work needs to get done on it, but it's not too bad right now. This thing does have 250.3 hours on it, though, huh? Since when did OT listen to anyone, Felton? <laughs> oh, I listen. I just don't do what you say. <laughs> no, you guys always have good suggestions. And I was thinking about using an auger as well, but I like using a, a different machine to... To grab it off the ground and fill it up using the joysticks is fun, you know. Auger wagon, I don't need the joysticks for that. I would like the steering wheel and pedals though. <laughs> you almost kind of cool not even do a desk at my the next little setup I have. I think for like 150 bucks on Amazon, you get like the whole uh, chair and. The whole setup where you can have like the wheel and pedals and joysticks and everything all on you know keyboard and everything all hooked up to it. Be cool to have like a rig like that. <laughs> so true, Eric. So true. Or rechat, yeah. <laughs> I've been missing a little bit of chat tonight. Not too bad though. Oh, oh, it's on this side. I forgot. bit of lime left in here <clears throat> I'm not sure if the machine had lime left in it at all Let's see if there's any in the capacity I think it was all emptied yeah I think we we're all empty oh there's a tiny little bit left <laughs> all right so we'll go over here we'll just buy some oh no we had <laughs> buy some we got some uh piles already over there <laughs> I just bought some what we spent three grand on that first load of lime which that's not too bad that's what got me thinking about getting like a return off our field by like selling the a core some corn off the field to get our our money back yeah he'll find something to complain about yeah Oh, yep, then complaining about having issues, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I didn't have any issues tonight, right? No issues. I figured out how to do my key bindings for my view. But I got it, I got it sorted. What the capacity on this thing is. It's hard to tell right where it's at, too. I think we're there. This is a pretty large bucket for this thing. It's like dumps right through it. Oh, I was in the, in the wrong spot, that's why.
spell. I was like, yeah, with the auger, you wouldn't have spilled out like that. It would have gone right in. It's got to be on that side of the uh, the cover. You know, you can see the cover right there. Just got to make sure we're dumping on this side of that and not the other side. Oh, but I think we're full. But this thing, it, uh, it empties out so quick. 42 meter spread. Oh man, it's heavy for this tractor too, dang it. Should I make it work? I need a front weight. Can I put a front weight on this? I can. I think I have the front weight. I have Taz's front weight right there on the on the planter. Maybe I'll grab that. I think we'll do a pretty big chunk of this field though pretty fast. Alright. See that was a pretty pretty big chunk in one go there. In today's episode of OT makes it more difficult for himself. <laughs> yeah, why not? You know? I could take something easy and make it hard in no time. <laughs> I always I do like a challenge though, you know? I do like a challenge. Ground and scrape up. Gotta find something to use the joysticks for. Um, I think real quick, actually, I'm going to. We're gonna go over here to the the voucher and grab the weight off of it really fast. Is on there. Oh, it's that one. Oh, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was Taz's weight. That must be back at the farm. It's probably on the smaller, uh, little tractor thing. I'll still borrow that weight from there. To make a big difference. I'm not even sure how much of a difference that will make, but it's going to make some kind of difference. Top this off. Oh, as I miss all over the ground there. All right, got it. Oh, I'm still missing. That means it's full then, right? Yeah, we're full. I was missing though. I didn't just. It wasn't just because it was full. So I probably want to get this upper area taken care of. Oh yeah, I, I can lower it to make it easier to see where I'm dumping. 
<laughs> I was able to see. I'm just like, my depth perception's off. Yeah, lowering it's a good idea, too. Belton is always full of good ideas, chat. And it, with that note, too, Felton is full of good ideas. Make sure you guys go check out his channel. Or check out his videos. You have, you have a nice little handful of videos I have to catch up on. And just so everybody knows in chat, Felden is one of my favorite content creators. In my opinion, one of the most underrated content creators. And I'm not just saying that because you're my buddy. That's how I even found you in the first place I came across. I started checking out your videos and... Like, right away, you reminded me of Mr. Silly P. That's kind of like how I found you and started enjoying your content and stuff. Yeah, definitely, definitely underrated on your numbers there. I wish you had, uh... I wish you had more, hopefully, more come soon, you know? Um... Because you, you put a lot of work, a lot of effort into your content. And, you know, I know it's going up slowly, but, um... I wish, it, wish a little bit more came to you a little bit quicker there, buddy. Oh, yeah, no problem, yeah, no problem. We'll probably actually need all this dump right here. I'll just dump the rest of the pile here. We'll need to get another load brought over. But it's, it's a pretty good chunk of alignment we did already. So we'll just drive this out to the front here. So that's ready to go. We'll just leave it running and we'll probably need it pretty soon. Do a quick drink of my cherry coke. <laughs> See, now it's all about Felden. <laughs> Bubble, you do an amazing job too, buddy. Also, make sure you guys go check out Cobble 73. If um, any of you guys want to put your links there in a the chat, uh, oops, I missed the line. Now, definitely feel free. You guys are all all moderators, so you guys all can do that. Go ahead and take this down with the the spreader. Actually, we'll just go right to the pile with it. I guess the pile's right there. I guess we can just load up while we're sitting. See, it's not it's not that it's too high up. It's just trying to figure out where uh, where the bucket is in relation to that. See, I still feel like I'm a little far uh, far forward there. The bucket's pretty large compared to the the lime spreader. It's cool when the weight gets in it too. How it goes down like that. Like I said, I, I do love some of the physics of this game. Like picking up 3,000 of oh, that's pretty heavy. Let's boom in just a bit. I feel like the tail end of this thing's up in the air. Maybe I should just like go down and kind of touch it. Touch the uh, basket. Oh, see, we're going through it. That's why. Why well, it always feels kind of weird to me. Because there's not actually a connection there. It's, we're not actually running into it. Ah, Felden, check out Cobble. Heck yeah. The Cobble, uh, Cobble, you have to put Felden's link down now. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're, we're good to go. We'll leave this here for a sec. We'll just go ahead and leave it running. I'm just going to keep working the top bit of this here, I think. Let's see, for this skinny patch, what I would usually do since it's 42 meters wide, I usually just run it like this. Oh, I still missed a little bit, though. Dang it, I should have got closer. Didn't measure out my 42, but I usually will do that to get that little strip. Yeah, that should be pretty quick there. That's, that's fine. It's on precision farming. I used to always try to get every little bit, but having precision farming, you don't have to get every little speck. Make 
sure we have a decent overlap there so we're not missing spots. I think about one more trailer to probably get it or done. I guess once we get this, the rest of this emptied here, we can look at the map and see what percentage of the field is done. And then we'll kind of know how much we actually will need. Yeah, also check out Eric's Crazy Viking. Heck yeah. Yeah, definitely check out Eric. Hey Eric, I was I was wondering, um, Mrs. Trees and I were talking about it, how like a lot of uh, a lot of Norwegians and stuff like that will have like blonde hair. Um, I was wondering, do you guys have? Do you and your family have blonde hair? I know a lot of Vikings, like Norwegian type, will have uh, like some nice some nice hair. You guys usually got some. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. I watch all like the Viking type movies and stuff. You know, I'm not saying they all do, but like a lot of Norwegians that I've seen um, will have. Uh, Blonde hair, blue eyes, and stuff. I was just wondering, because I the way we were talking about that, I'm like, oh, I wonder if Eric does. Because <laughs> I don't know what, like, any of you guys, like, very few of you guys, I know what it looked like, you know? I don't know. If I saw you guys walking down the street, unless it was like Cobble. I know what Cobble looks like. I know what Rob looks like, even though he doesn't have a face cam. I know what Rob looks like. For a friend, Facebook friends. Um,. You know, other people that have face cams, obviously, I know what you look like, but uh, most of you guys, I have no idea. Like, I would never, never recognize you walking down the street. <laughs> Second question for Eric is, what was for breakfast? <laughs> Surprised I didn't ask that already. At least today's been a nice day. September 5th, it's been an awesome day on the farm. Getting a bunch of work done. I know it's going kind of slow. It's slow going. We're getting this field prepped and ready, though. Be 100%, baby, when it's all done. We'll get a nice yield out of it. A couple of grass fields, too, just beyond here. We don't own those, but put an eyeball on those fields. Get in there and get them prepped up a little bit before they're uh, all ready to harvest, you know. Hey, man, this field's pretty big, but, like, man, check, it, check out the map real quick. It's not even, it's been a lot. It's a pretty good-sized field, no doubt, you know. There's 33 here. That was a lot of work, you know, getting this uh, field here all done. See, I'm still rolling, still doing a bunch of rolling and stuff. Um, getting this field going was a bunch of work, but look at, like, this field and this field right here. Like these fields here are massive. Like our, our field 33 we're doing now is good size for us, right? Small equipment, but like field 16 and field 15, those fields are huge compared to our stuff. That field 16 is big as our whole. Look at this is our property. It goes from like right here to like here and down, and then this little bit here. That's our our whole property. It's just that field 16 is that big. <laughs> the whole thing. Ah, oh, there you go, Cobalt. Thanks for putting Felden's link there. Make sure you guys go check out Felden. There's the link in the chat for him. Chat, 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 chat. Alright, let's go up here and get the rest of this lime loaded up. And then, uh, how much do we have done? Let's, let's look at our field real quick. We're almost there. Oh, I guess we gotta check it by um, our, our precision farming menu, right? So we've done that much. Eh, maybe after we load up another load, we'll see how much is sitting up there. If we can get like this chunk done right here with what we have, then yeah, one more load in the trailer. But we'll come back. We'll uh, 
We'll run down that way to finish this part off. Maybe there's enough for two more loads up here. We'll see right now. And if we do have extra, we can just drop it off in our silo. Yeah, we'll probably have enough for um, maybe two loads of this thing. No breakfast for you today? Aw, oh, dang it. See, me, my son, and both the girls have dark blonde hair and blue eyes. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Mrs. V has half tie, oh, half tie, so she's got brown hair, brown eyes, and blackish hair. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's awesome. But I, I, I only assumed, but I, I figured a lot of, right, a lot of Norwegians have, uh, like, blonde, blonde hair, blue eyes. That's, like, the same... My, hair, my eyes aren't blue now, but when I was young, they were. Uh, we have a lot of German blood on my side. Uh, but, yeah, we had a lot of uh, blonde blonde hair, blue-eyed, too. My eyes are like more like a hazel, kind of greenish color. Um, but all growing up, I had long, straight, kind of blondish color, dirty blonde colored hair when I was young. Yeah, it's funny. I, I only assumed... <laughs> Yeah, no breakfast, why not, right? I was wondering the same thing. Hopefully you're feeling okay. Right here's kind of a waste of lime spreading so far out. That's alright, just kind of name of the game, a little bit of overage. I think we still have enough for one more load over there. So yeah, one more fill of the trailer brought down. I, uh, I think we'll be good to go. Yeah, I'm sure of it. We just got this little area to do, which should go pretty quick. A lot of brunettes, blondes, and reds. But Sweden, it's like 65% blondes. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So maybe that's why I always kind of assume that, because it's the, the majority. But yeah, I know. every Everywhere in the world has every color, shape, size, you know? So that makes sense. Let's see, I could probably just pick up the rest of this too real quick. just not hungry gotta have some breakfast though I usually don't have breakfast either I usually uh, if I'm working I usually don't have breakfast I usually wait until lunch but I, I usually get hungry about 10 o'clock and lunch is 11 so I usually have to wait a little bit be hungry a little bit before lunch every once in a while I'll grab a little snack for breakfast or get a breakfast burrito or something that's usually not until 9 o'clock, first break. Little King Burrito spot just up the way from work. I could, uh, I could order it on the way up there, call an order on the way up there, and pick it up and come back to the shop. And I'll, have, I'll be back in 15 minutes, but uh, I'll have to eat it on the clock. Luckily, I get away with that. Some shops don't let you eat or drink or anything at your bench, but uh, we're, we're pretty lax about that kind of stuff as long as you don't make a mess if you do clean it up, you know? Get that off the ground yet? Jeez, that's a hard little spot to pick up. And then we have to go back to the farm, get one more load of lime. And then whatever the lime uh, 
machine the lime uh, production over there makes so we'll just go ahead and store it in our silo for next time yeah the last field I did of corn over there I um I used the lime out of the machine to get most of it done. It was like half the field. And then, uh, and then I did, I bought the rest. Let's see, I'm just going to use this to get some of this area up here. You said you have days you don't eat because at all because you're not hungry and days where you don't have any any energy. Yeah, it sucks, dude. Sorry to hear that. Did I get all that little spot? Okay, I think it's good though. It says we're good there on the preci precision farming side of things. Well, Keith, hopefully, or uh, Eric, hopefully, you get an appetite going. Like, unless you don't want one, <laughs> you know, but. Um, food, food is good. Your body needs food, so hopefully you get an appetite going to get yourself some food in you, get yourself some energy. Always sucks running on a full tank, you know? Uh, running off, running off full tank. Always sucks running on an empty tank. Full tank is tough, too, because you're just like, oh, I'm stuffed. I want a nap. All right, so now we need some more lime. We'll go ahead and just park this here for now jump in this one go back get some lime chat need some more lime I thought we were gonna do all kinds of stuff in this episode right there's it's almost we have been streaming for an hour and 45 minutes since all we've done so far <laughs> everything always takes so long to do You eat enough the days that you do eat? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, as long as you got energy, you know. If you don't have energy, man, you gotta eat something. Trailer's just pulling, pulling behind us so nice, I almost thought I wasn't back there. Because that would have been funny. That would have been, been me, right? Typical OT. Drive all the way to the farm without the, tra or without the trailer behind. So another three grand. So it's about six grand. It's gonna cost us. We might have some left over. We might need a little bit more. We'll find out here shortly. All right. Yeah, it takes quite a bit of lime, and I believe it was only, what, 12,000 liters of rock? And I think it's a one-for-one, a one one, isn't it, out of that? Out of that lime production? Oh, it's 2,000 rock. Oh, you actually do get more out of it, so... It still would've been enough, but it's 2,000 rock, 1,200 liters of uh, water for 4,500 liters of lime. Which is a um, pretty decent conversion there for that. Just for adding some water to make dust, uh, you get double the weight, apparently. And while you have to add water to crush it, I have no idea. <sighs> Excuse me. I know water helps keep the dust down, but is it a dusted element anyway? It's a mineral. So I'm going to want to take this all the way down here. Oh, I got you, Eric. This thing got so dusty so quick. Say we'll dump it right here. And I'll dump I'll dump the rest back here on this side. 
Actually, you know what? We'll just we'll go, go ahead and just keep it all right. Right in one spot. Then we don't have to move the, the wheel loader or the telehandler around. We'll just dump all of it right here. And what I'll do is I'll we'll start by going down that side and we'll go down that side. We'll start over there first. There we go. I really like this Marshall trailer a lot. This thing's been pretty sweet. Nice little dump on it. Opens up nice. Good animation, good sounds on it. Yeah, it sounds cool. Oh, one little strip of uh, area we didn't get the rock out of right there, but I think it's all out of there. Just we didn't. The ground texture didn't change, I guess. So at least it's plowed. Right, so we'll just get this up out of the way here a little bit. with the Massey. That way we can have a little friend. And we'll jump over here in the telehandler. And we'll finish the lime off of this field, huh? We are almost there. Another handful of loads to go in the spreader. Alright. Is that anything to give me a reason to use the joysticks? I could do a lot more with the joysticks. I can drive around and do whatever I want with them. It just doesn't feel as uh, as fluid. Like, I wish I had a steering wheel and pedals. That'd, that'd, that'd be very natural for me. I drive all the time. So, having a steering steering wheel and all that. Oh, totally empty here. Um, having a steering wheel and all that would be definitely cool. It's cool because this thing's going up because losing the weight, and that's going down because it's getting the weight. It's awesome. That's just about full. What was that hold? 3,200? Is that what it was? So I'm going to start down in the far end. And we'll work our way back this way to the pile. It's probably about there. Yep, it's pretty good. Yeah, this thing does a good job for as small as it is. Uh, it has pretty good coverage. Not that big a capacity on it, but it's not bad at all. Heck yeah, that was awesome. That was, that was a good pass there. Not quite a bit done. Oh, 
Whoa. It's like I lean forward on that because of how much weight is in the bucket. It'll slow down very easy. Don't do that. <laughs> Try and turn it off, not waste it. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this way at it. Get better coverage there. I didn't mean to miss that little bit though. Oh wait, well it it won't do lime if it's already done lime over it, huh? So I'm not really wasting it, right? I guess it does if it's I forget how much it actually wastes it, but I know if it doesn't need lime, it won't go out. But it's shooting out a lot, you know, I'm not sure at the rate of it going out when it's turned on at all, versus like, if it's like a narrow strip you're doing long ways, you know, does it slow down the percentage coming out? I forget what the, the ratio there is on that. Getting through this pretty good. And we're out. I bet maybe uh, what two two more two more loads and we probably got it. He said, "Wow, already reached seventy-five percent of your goal." <laughs> no, I meant to, I meant to actually change that, but it would be uh, pretty far. Actually, that it would be the same percentage. Yeah, it's actually seventy-five point four to be exact. How you doing, Yos? <laughs> uh, but my goal was fifteen hundred, and uh, we already passed that. The goal was fifteen hundred before the end of the year. And we passed that up already. We're at fifteen oh eight. As of last time I checked, maybe I lost a bunch tonight or something, but yeah, we hit our 1500, excuse me, subscriber goal before the end of the year. So I just threw out a new one, 2000 subs, but I'll probably change the expectation date, you know, whatever. The end of the goal date, they call it.
so maybe we could do uh i don't know we gotta figure it out because we're averaging right now we're like averaging about a hundred a month right now at least this past this past uh two months has been about like that so if we if we continue on that it's only going to take us uh five months from now so it'd be like march right so maybe we'll want 2,000 subs before April. Before April Fool's Day. I think that'd be a good day, huh? That way it's like realistic, but still we have to try for it, you know? Gotta set realistic goals for ourselves. But yes, how you doing today, huh? You going, are you working? What are you doing? Making pancakes? last little area to do here and then we are all done son Scoop that up more. Give me some more. There's probably enough to fill up though already. You're working from home. You were away for the weekend. Oh, where'd you go? Did you go check out your favorite place, Amsterdam? <laughs> Just joking. Now, oh, where'd you guys go though? Or where did you go? Or did you go somewhere with somebody? Or I don't know, I'm asking all your personal questions. I'm curious. I know when you travel around over there, there's got to be some. Gotta be some pretty fun stuff, you know? Yo, this is about, uh, I think he said about 30, 30 minutes from Amsterdam. He said go to Amsterdam once and then never again. <laughs> he doesn't like Amsterdam for anybody who doesn't know. <laughs> I don't think he dislikes it, he just doesn't prefer it. He doesn't like it, it's like a tourist thing, you know? And I, I get it. I know how some places like that are here. Or just because it's like, oh yeah, it's cool, go check that out. Like, yeah, no, I'll pass. <laughs> I get it. All right, that worked out well. Even with no auger, Felden. Maybe, maybe next time when I become civilized, we'll do an auger. Until then, we'll just load it. I guess the, I need the trailer back. I parked the trailer up top. Now we need it. Need to bring it back down to load that lime out of the field. But for now, we're going to get the planter going. We're going to get some, some planting going there for a bit. I missed a little tiny bit right down here. Go ahead and get that. So I missed that strip. I'm glad I saw it. All right. Vacation park with friends and kids. Vacation park, huh? Sounds like the place. I don't. I had the weight on the front of this. I don't think I need it for this though. All right, start to get folded. Fire it up. We're planting corn again. Actually, I think we got back up just a bit, right? Oh, no, I already planted to this spot. All right, we're going, chat. We're going.
I do like this voucher setup. This thing is pretty cool with the, uh, the orange and black. I missed one little spot back there. Yeah, we'll just go around this headland, see where that gets us. And then we'll set a worker to it. <laughs> Eric, that's funny. He said, the joke of the day, OT being civil. Ah, oh, you know me too well. We don't like to be civilized around here. Like the Vikings, right, Eric? They were not civilized either. Maybe more so now these days, but still. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and set a worker right here, I think. Because this is probably a pretty good time. Pretty good time to end the stream. It has been fun. You guys are all awesome. Some was. <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, that's going to be it for tonight, everybody. Appreciate you guys all being on. If anybody's new, please subscribe. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this content, please make sure to hit the thumbs up. We'll go to this one. But yeah, you guys are awesome as always. Uh, we're going to try to figure out something to do in the next couple days. Um, I'm not sure if I'm on tomorrow or not. Look, look out for it for tomorrow. Uh, maybe we'll get back on uh, No Man's Land and do some more digging around on there. And uh, start working on doing some of our uh, community uh, build on there. You guys are all great. Yo says boring. <laughs> well, you should have been here earlier. You could have watched some more boring stuff for a little bit longer. <laughs> uh, but I hope you have a good day. There you go. So Eric, I hope you feel better. <laughs> just, just get going and you bail. I know I was doing lime the whole time. <laughs> But there'll be plenty of planting when we get back to That's probably going to be the next thing. I also still have to tend to the cows. We still have to work on building uh, some of our farm over there. I might get started on a little bit of the farm building stuff. Um, and that's just going to be right across the street where we're at. In that small field, we're going to put another cow enclosure down over there. Add some more uh, smaller elements to it. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this one. You guys are all awesome. Thanks a lot, Ninja. Thanks, Hoonigan. I appreciate you. Oh, thanks, Keith. Yep, awesome. Yeah, Feldman, thanks for streaming out to you. Have a great, have a good time zone, everyone. Have a good time zone. But yeah, you guys have a good day. Uh, look for me tomorrow. No guarantees on tomorrow yet, but uh, we'll just keep it rolling. I'm going to try to push out a lot of streams because, like I was saying, um, in the next, like, couple weeks we're moving like really soon we're gonna the first i think maybe even this coming up weekend we're gonna start moving some stuff in and then uh, we have to be out of here by the 13th so it doesn't give me a lot of time so i'll have to kind of cram on that so maybe we'll cram in some streams to get a bunch of that going and then um i, I kind of want to work on making a couple little videos that i could put out in between that to keep you guys kind of entertained or whatever you want to call it like while uh while i'm not there so I just want to put that out there, but we'll, we'll be doing a lot. It's still a lot to come until we're uh, making that transition, but stay tuned. And, uh, you know, you guys will, I'll let you guys all know what's going on. But until then, I'll see you guys all on the next